heard from our sister company, Gale. Uh, we do have some unique features on this machine that they don't have. Uh, first of all, this is a uh, 1155. Our nomenclature is 11,000 pound uh, picking capacity. We can take 5,500 pounds up, 55 feet. Very strong machine. That's with the outriggers down, obviously. Um, you can see here that uh, this machine is a, a low mount uh, boom machine. We do have a low mount and a high mount available in our lineup. Uh, basically, the boom is uh, is going to be pinned in a different location uh, than than on the low mount boom. The boom extension cylinder is going to be on the bottom of the the boom versus the top of the boom. Uh, there's a lot of features that we have on this machine that make this machine pretty special. Um, when this machine is in a high mount boom uh, position, you can see we've got uh, very strong uprights, very beefy, uh, very durable, yet very compact size on this machine. Hydraulic hoses are protected. If you look at the profile of our machine, the hydraulic hoses don't stick out the back. Uh, so they can get caught on things. And you, you, you generally hit the back of the rear bumper before you would hit the hoses or damage the boom. Um, we also have the 60 degrees rear stabilized uh, cylinder, which is run off a magnetic switch. When our uh, steel rod goes up past the magnetics uh, switch at 60 degrees with the boom up in the air, it locks out the rear float cylinder, the rear oscillation cylinder, it creates a four-point stance. Uh, we feel that it's the safest position you could be in having a four-point stance with the boom up that high in the air. Um, and and uh, we do a couple things when we uh, engage that rear oscillation cylinder. We de-energize the transmission, we set the parking brake, and we slow down our, our frame level. We slow it down so that uh, you don't get a rapid movement with the boom up in the air. You can see we've got a very low height with our machine. All of our machines are